what we have here is failure to communicate. Right then, let's have a look at this over here. Do, 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 do. What a gorgeous day. It's a Saturday. What is it, the 21st or some bulldust like that? Uh, June's coming up. And then we're going to start getting some EMS fast air to America and Canada coming along. So, uh, God, check this out. I chucked all this. Oh, it's starting to smell bad. Chucked all this in the back of the rig. If you if you stick stuff in the gummy bags, the rubbish bags, cats come around at night and just tear the shit out of it, and then it ends up all sprawled all over the street. So I always toss food in the back of here. And um, so if I purchase food from the supermarket, whoosh, it's gone the next day. It's all gone. But I cook that. The bastards don't eat my food. Something wrong with them. Uh, anyways, what we have here... It's a beautiful shamisen. Now, when people retire from playing shamisen, they um, they get the bachi and go, and they cut, much to my chagrin, they cut the skin. Right? This would be dog skin, I presume, because it's quite, they use dog skin, cat skin, and plastics. Um, but this side's okay. Right then, so, am I even filming anything? Um, right, um, and this here, oh, we've got all kinds of groovy parts and stuff. These are the thingies you put on your, on your fingery thingies, so you can do the, the plucking, plectoring -y thing. This dearly here, all your parts are here. Um, this goes on the, on the end thingy there. Oh, that thingy down there. Um, yeah, and there's your strings and all, and it's all, it's all there. Um, that is a bachi protector. Let's have a look at that in a minute. Um, and these here, now, due to the overlords and the, uh, the, uh, algorithm -y thingies, um, you're not allowed to sell that or something or whatever, or trade in it, I think, but once they're they passed away, they passed away, that might have been a long bloody time ago. And there was actually a time when there was loads of them, and they, there was too many of them. What I'm talking about is, you know, I'm not allowed to say the word, you see. In, you know, in Africa, there's this great big, really, 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 really big animal with this big nose type thing. Well, they've got these like horny type things, and I presume, it's my presumption, I may be incorrect, but I think it is. Which makes it very expensive, I think it is. Um, made out of that stuff, if you know what I mean. Okay, um, I'll just, uh, Yoshida? Yoshida, hang on a second, I'll just go and ask a friend over there what that says. I think that's Yoshida. He's just way too ugly to put on the, uh, on the video. Hmm. Is that Yoshida? Yeah. Ashida. See that bloke over there, he's just way too ugly to put on the YouTube. He'll probably <laughs> he'll probably break the he'll probably break the YouTube. There you go, there's keys too. Kagi. There's keys there. Yeah, so I think that, that would make it well actually it does it. This is an expensive one, that's for sure. Um now, and you've got your, your thingy there that goes on the, the side thing there. Um, you've got this bag here, which has generally got a, a butchie in it. Now, what I'll do, I'll go to my butchie resources. Now, I won't, I won't film this bastard. He, he'll, he'll, honestly, he'll break the internet. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, look what we have here. Say hello. Hello. What are you doing, reading comics? Yeah. Comics. You're like 30 years old. No, I'm 40. You're 40? Bullshit. Yeah. That, that would make me... Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, look at this. Butchie resource. Um, these are all got butchies in them. Yes, I wonder if one would actually... Oh, uh, you can have that one, I guess. That's already got a... Uh... Oh, God, look at this. Shamisen. Shemisen resource. I'll oh, film his shoes. Look at these. Look at these shoes. God. 
Damn, look, who would wear shoes like that? That's just embarrassing. And this bloke, right? Haven't seen him for months because he's been hiding from, from you know, the Cal 19 hoax. Tells me, right? He goes, oh, I've got some bad news. And I said, what's that? He goes, I got married. <laughs> right? That's the truth. That's true, right? Yeah. God. See? He's got some problems. Like, I, I call him a friend, but, you know, I don't want to film that one. I'll film all my other friends because they're cool. <laughs> right then. Okay. I guess you can... Oh, someone had a name on that one. I guess you can have this one. Uh, from the 59th year of the Shoah. Let's have a look if it's in good condition. Oh, hang on. That's... It's got some tape on it, is it? Cracked or something? No. That's fine. We'll get a... We'll get a different one anyways, just in case. Alright, we have this one instead. I wonder... And I wonder... Uh oh, that's got a chip in it. Oh, God! What's going on here? Let's uh, see if we can um, render this situation. Let's try this one. That's not going to make it go over the weight category. Nope. Uh -huh. Alright, let's see if this will fit. Ah, what do we got here? Brand new bucky. Alright, now that's in good condition. Go file that over there. Alright, there we go. Now, go like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, put the uh, protector back on it. Okay, you can have that one. How's that? If that all fit together, that'll go in there, and that goes on there. Yeah. Cut, cut, cut. Right, bit of key eye on that one. And see if we can plug him in there. How's that? Okay, now, will he fit again? Sweet. That will do. Now then, so we won't worry about these butchies for now. Now, let us have a look at some of this information. It's usually the butchie will go in, in this little case thing here. And I'll, I'll plonk him somewhere in a minute. Under that, I guess. Now, um, what we have here, um, Niman Sansen Go Hyakuen, which is like about 225 maybe US dollars. This uh, gives us a list of the stuff that they purchased. This is just accessories. This is not the chamisen. It doesn't list the chamisen at all. So who knows? It's probably a few thousand bucks. Um, this particular one. Who knows? Um, oh, that's at a minimum, I reckon. Now, these are all the parts that they've been, yeah, uh, that they've purchased here for, you know, like bits and pieces and what have you, um, for the chamisen. So, this is uh, like they spent 220 bucks just in accessories. You, you can keep, you can keep this as proof, and you will not find the chamisen listed on there. So, yeah. So, what's that tell you? It's a uh, good one. All right. So, um, sea freight. Let's uh, just fix this bloody thing. Key eye there. And what I'll do is I'll put some uh, bubble wrap in here to stop that from moving around the things. Um, now the case is the case is really good too. You could clean it up a bit more. I've had it over here in my pile of stuff uh, before the Coward 19 hoax um, come along and, and TikTok videos with all the uh, the hospital staff all doing their dance routines and then. And then the media trying to tell us that oh the hospitals are filled with all these people and then they're doing the TikTok um, synchronizations, <laughs> loads of them out there. Thanks, Cow Nineteen Hoax, for destroying my business. Good on you. Yeah, the um, the the case itself, good condition. I gave it a bit of a going over, so you can um, clean it up a bit more and. Uh, I had a little 
light sponge on it earlier. So that's just a bit of bit of water, soapy water I had on it. Um, yeah, um, and it's it's capable of going via sea freight. We still don't have cell economy air yet. Um, we will have from June the first some EMS services, but they're going to have this huge surcharge or something on there. Yeah. Oh, always got to pay more. Um, sadly. But just ask uh, what it might cost to your particular country. Most major European countries uh, have EMS air freight, and the US and Canada will be opening up to that from June the 1st. That's what they're telling us. So uh, things could start be could start be coming along. What? What kind of language is that? So there you go. Um, that's that's a that's good. All right got another one over there that I'm going to list right now so that's good um, so yeah just send along a, a question you know what would it cost me to send it um, as of June the 1st it's going to be more expensive so if you can you know you might want to EMS that prior to you can't do it prior, can you? Uh, unless you're in Europe if you're in Europe you could EMS this now um, as from June the 1st uh, initially I'll just list uh, sea freight as I've been restricted to anyways I think the birds are gonna have a go at that food now they're not they're all on the roof okay right um, be good and um, yeah did I show you just how awesome yeah, the birds are all rock on just how awesome the day is The bird's going nuts up there. <laughs> Alright then. Okay, let's 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 little bit let's list all right it was a late night. Let's list this um next chamois in shall we? Alright, so what I'm going to do is call this one chamois number two. And uh Oh yeah, some green little oh, cool. That's a, a Shinto Suzu. Mini a mini Suzu bell. Right, uh, this one was owned by someone called Kurokawa. Black River. Now, um Right, uh what do we have here? Yep, same deal when they retire from Shamisen they get the bachi. These dealies and just go and cut the skin and that one also is I think this is also dog skin yes um now uh let's see you've got your bridge here mm -hmm. and we'll let the pad thing there that that skin there as with the other one is in good condition right um now, um, you've got your standard type of, um, someone's worn them down a bit to get them tighter, um, standard type of pegs. One string is broken, so you have to get a set of strings, there's plenty of, there's plenty out there on the, on the net, eBay's got loads of them. Um, I don't see any keys for the, uh, the case itself. So this one will be significantly cheaper um, than the uh, than the than the other one. Now, um, what I'll do those butchies here are a little bit chipped and all, so I'll go into my butchie resource, my uh, chamisen resources. <laughs> Strange that I'm in such a good mood. Like the world's gone to shit and I'm in a good mood. Now yeah. let's have a look at this, shall we? Okay, now uh, plastic. Um plastic. Right, now, like that, and we go like that, Dun. 
brand new. Brand new bachi. There you go. Brand new. Excellent condition. Condition. So, and I'll plonk him here. Yes. Let's do that now. And then what I'll do, I'll get some. Um, that. He goes on there like so. He goes in that thing there. Yeah. Some more key eye, more key eye. Yeah. Yeah. And he goes up there. How's that? Actually, what I need, I don't know, I'll keep those for something else. Um, yeah, there you go, and yeah, now the case isn't as good as the other one, but you give it a bit of a clean up, oh, it's coming up already, see, um, give a bit of a clean up and you're good to rock and roll, I will be, for both of them, I'll, um, I'll put, uh, bubble wrap and then I'll put this, um, this stuff, um, yeah, it's still got enough. Yeah, bubble wrap there. Loads up there. Um, and that, actually, I was at this auction house, and uh, they said, "Oh, Darren, do you want to buy some um, some bubble wrap?" And I go, "Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll just buy it all." <laughs> I didn't know how many they had <laughs> in this storage, and so they bring out ten <laughs> of those, and they said to me, "Shit, uh, how did you get here today?" And I said, "Oh." Yeah, you know, they said, "Oh, you got enough room in your truck?" I'm like, "What?" <laughs> That's right. And they go, "Someone said, you sure he's got enough space in his in his rig?" And um, and that was like, "What?" <laughs> and then they start bringing it out, and they brought out ten of those huge ones, and uh, I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah I can I can do it." Um, I got my K truck, and I, I got it sorted because I had I was buying things too, so I rumbled down the road with a pretty full rig that particular day. Right then, so that's that. Um, now, same deal, I'll sea freight it. Um, I'm planning to sea freight it. It is possible to EMS to Europe currently, and as of June the 1st, um, we will have EMS for, um, God, this is good stuff to work with. Brilliant, some kind of bonding agent stuff. Wow, they've got awesome stuff here. Um, yeah, uh, as of June the 1st, we will have EMS services available for America, although they have um, 105 is the max for sea freight, and we're running 103, so we're golden as far as that's concerned. Uh, once I put some packing on there, yep, still got a few mil to, to work with, so that's good. Yeah, it uh, won't be expensive. Um, and so I, I said just just to see freight the thing and and go with that. Um, you know, even if the that got roughed up, it should be fine inside. Oh, okay, cookie. Alrighty then. Yeah, just uh, if you want to air freight it um, to Europe, it's possible right now. Um, there's the EMS listings over way over there, uh, but there will be surcharges as of. Um, June the 1st, um, EMS extra charges for this bloody virus bullshit, and, uh, but yeah, if you want to air freight it, you can turn that off too, come off already, so. um, yeah, just let me know where you are, and, uh, we'll figure out the costings for that, and, uh, frighten you with the costings <laughs> of EMS, but at least, alas, um, things are, uh, starting to come along the world's starting to wake up and uh we're getting rid of this uh all the, the bullshit bad people that want to wear masks forever and a day and they want to suppress you righty ho then um what we have here is um all these dealies all these uh little doll dealies and aren't they amazing They're elaborate 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 couldn't even spell that a bit dusty but that'll do um yeah look at the elaborate way these things are these actually um like you know boys day ceremony or whenever they do this one they're there with they, they cost thousands you know people fork out thousands and they have this like step down type table dealies I used to have one of those um 
and yeah, there's just a elaborately bloody sword in there, that bloke. And now that dude over there is doing whatever that dude's doing. Oh, I don't know, whatever that is. That's a, yeah, that's a Shinto hat, isn't it? Um, yeah, maybe you put that on there. Um, oh, that's actually just a, um, uh, to moisture takeout thingy. Right, um, so you get all these dealies. Now, that, that, Look how elaborate these are, huh? Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful work. That thingy there. You get these hat things. Aren't these cool? Huh? These are groovy. Look at that. You can, you can wear one of these and people will be like, Where did you get that from? <laughs> hey? Where did you, where did you get that from? <laughs> Isn't that groovy? Hey? Oh, look at that. Don't I look cool? Well, I always look cool, obviously, but... And uh, go all, um... Uh, mutiny on the bounty style like that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with my brain. Now, um, I didn't watch too much Giggle Gilligan's Island or whatever <laughs> when I was a kid. Ah, what an education. Right then, so you get three of these hat dealies. Alright, that's cool. Um, now, um, this one, this particular one here, um, Dad here, that's the the father said look stop playing with swords stop play with my sword and unfortunately this one's um he's lopped half his bloody head off hasn't he <laughs> but i found these dealies over here and i was thinking oh, there's a shinto hat speaking of shinto hats i don't make you dizzy by moving this camera around will there's a real one right there real deal that one's broken um but that's fixable and from what I recall, I think actually there's a chemise. Oh, little more, more. That's a chemise. That's a good one too. Um, I feel like yeah, I'll list that in a few minutes. Look at this. Look at this. That's a Shinto crease right there. There you go. Look at this. My my. That's also the real deal. What's that stuff? Not even going to show you that. <laughs> Might just want to keep that for myself. No, should. Because I've already shown it. <laughs> wow, there's a real deer right there. That's that's stuff from antiquity. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> God, I'm in a good mood today. Yes. Yes. I mean, look at this weather. Isn't it wonderful? We've broken into summer. It's just the perfect temperature. If only that dude up there that doesn't get along with me very well would keep it at this temperature always, that would just be rad. Yes. Rock and roll. Okie cokey. So I found uh, also this one. See, this hair thing. Now, I reckon if you get a little bit of glue, because this evidently came from here. There you go. So, uh, that, that plonks on there, and it becomes, that's that's a woman. Sorry, Dad, but uh, let me close your ears for a second here. Not exactly the best looking chick, to be honest. But anyways, well, that, oh, yeah, yeah, marriage, can't wait. Um, So, there you are. You get all these dealies, so I'll see freight these. Be crazy cheap. Um, yeah, I'll toss all these in a, in a, uh, I'll put some of this packing and whatever's, or sure to have some extra sort of stuff laying about for packing and whatever. Yeah, I'll chuck them in a, um, yeah, I might actually use them for box protectors too. Yeah, that's an idea. Um, yeah, alright, I'll use those sea freight box protectors. Okay, um, yeah. I'll have to make it worth my while to do, um, but yeah, aren't they beautiful? Like just the, just the workmanship that goes in, that's involved. In, look at this. Beautiful stuff. Okie cokey, next up on the price is right. Right then, let's have a look at this, shall we? I'll give this a bit of a clean. My classy singlet. Now, um... Oh, there is some good news. 
Yes, which is very rare for me. Um, the um, I went to this like dentist. Um, this is a. Uh, uh, oh God! Did I drink a beer last night? I went to this dentist. Um, about oh, over a year ago or whenever it was. Now I've had the problem for about a couple of years, and under I've got these teeth in the back here that are stuffed. And um, one's got a hole in it, and food would go down, especially if I ate like steak or something like that. And food would get down there and sort of rot and stuff. And I, I started to puff up under the cheek here, and it was really, really starting to give me the, the pip, <laughs> as my father would say. It was giving me the shits, right? And so I went to this dentist, um, this dentistry that I generally went to. And uh, actually, there was uh, this really cool dentist called Yamada san, and he. Uh, He's a young guy, and we could sort of communicate, and he was really good. And, um, let's just see if I can clean that thing out. Um, and, uh, turns out there was this other dentist bloke there. Look, I've got nothing against the bloke, but, um, maybe I should have. Americans would, they'd be like, <laughs> and, um, what's the book for? Actually, that can go with that doll thing, because this is from one of those, um, yeah, I'll, I'll include that with those dolls, god, I'm a nice guy, until I'm not nice, be nice, until you have to be not be nice, <laughs> what is it, a line out of Roadhouse, Patrick Swayze, there you go, that goes in with those, um, those dolls, now, um, yeah, as I was saying, I, uh, I, uh, I don't know where I should do that. Uh, I'm doing this, isn't that cool? Uh, that's not dirty. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, so, um, I went to this dentist and they told me I actually have to go to hospital. Isn't that good, cool? <laughs> um, God, I'm in a good mood. Um, and, uh, so I go to this dentist and he says, oh, he writes down this piece of paper, they did uh, x-rays and all this nonsense, and I said, oh, you have to go to the, the hospital to get these teeth taken out. And uh, I didn't know why, I couldn't understand what was going on, so he writes out all these hieroglyphics, this letter for me, and, and uh, I'm afraid of hospital. I've seen two people go in there and they didn't come out. So um, I'd only go to the hospital if, um, I've even had loads of broken bones, I didn't even go to the fucking hospital, you know, and, um, yeah, but I only go if, uh, it's really, really, really bad, yeah, and I get to see my kid then, you see, because, um, exy, I call it ex-wife, and, uh, it's amazing how she, yeah, anyways, I'll get a chance to see my kid, so, you know, maybe I'll just throw myself off a building or something like that, and maybe if the building's not too big, I'll get to see my kid again. After five years. Anyways, I find out just the other day that she's going to this fancy pants high school. So she's a high schooler now. Yeah, first year in high school, 15. So, yeah, I got a picture of her in, this, in the schoolgirl clothing and all that. And yeah, it looks fantastic. So, um, maybe that's why I'm in a good mood, right? Yes. Yes, I saved that picture. Yes, actually, I've got a, um, a box of stuff that she made in here she made stuff cucky made that's her nickname right, right back there all these these things that she gave me you know the stuff they bring home to the parents and whatever the kid forgets all about them but <laughs> yeah anyways um Right. Uh, so yeah, uh, I went to the the hospital. No, sorry, I didn't go to the hospital. Um, well, yeah, a friend of mine just recently um, he mentioned this this doctor, this dentist that uh, he's been going to for years. He's known him. He used to teach him English years ago, and now the guy speaks English really well. And and uh, he used to go there, and uh, he always goes to this bloke. Anyways, let me try to compose myself here. Um. And uh, so I went down to see that guy. So here's me thinking these teeth have got to be ripped out, blah, blah. 
And I go down to see him and he says, oh no, we can, you've got like an infection underneath the teeth and we'll pour some medicine down there a few times and it's gonna, I'm gonna have to go there like six times to get some other stuff sorted out. Because apparently I've got to get this sorted out before I get this other stuff sorted out. Be careful with red wine, whatever you do. <laughs> It'll knock the enamel off your teeth. Anyways, um, and so he says to me, oh, you, you don't have to have the teeth taken out. How's it? <laughs> so uh, he's going to fix the teeth and um, and I'm going to be able to, because I was thinking I would never be able to eat Aussie steak ever again. What a freaking tragedy that is, you know, like an Aussie barbecue steak and beer. Yeah, so that's fantastic news. Um, I just let, let it go for all that time. I was thinking, oh shit, I'm going to die from this anyway, so who cares? Because um, that when it was puffing up, it was just that was just real bad and so yeah that's um that's getting sorted out um yeah people die from that shit people have uh, died from that shit me being an immortal it's just gonna freaking hurt forever obviously hey but yeah that's fantastic news so um i've been going to this dentist i've been twice now and uh yeah yeah do something with that now i am shocked that this piece of artwork here has not sold i put it up for a billion dollars hoping someone will do it for a tax write-off or something and, and uh it didn't it didn't sell oh that's that um bezu and i've got sitting in the car these guys are just rad that uh that shocking blue there old girlfriend and i used to rock to that uh, japanese festival yeah, I'll put that in. Yeah. why am i going through this right i'm gonna i'm gonna list this again and uh oh, oh, spiders. Oh, oh. um yeah hopefully someone will buy that go i saw some crap like that i mean some fantastic piece of artwork like that um that sold for hundreds of thousands of dollars <laughs> some jerk off bought it anyways now let's get on to this let me just clean my hands off yeah <laughs> buy some crap like that for hundreds of thousands of dollars tax write-offs nice design in here I'll put some kind of stuff on it to I presume to seal some cracking now this here uh let's see i i haven't actually totally inspected this i remember i bought it years ago before the world went to shit and um I actually probably just went like that and then put my hand up for it so didn't want to inspect it too much sometimes I don't do that because people get a good eyeful <laughs> of how good something is and then they decide to put their hand up Ooh. so sometimes you gotta pretend like oh, oh I have interest in that but really I have interest in, in something else now um, as with one of the other ones see there's some cracking going on in there yes. Uh, there's quite some age, I would say, in this. Um, these are now. I can't say the word. I can't even. I can't scribe the word um, in the sales, even though this thing died like many moons ago. Yeah, cracking in it. Um, so yeah, these are made. These are definitely um, made from, you know, those great big. I'll say it again. Those great big animals in Africa. They they walk around. They go. Whoa! Those dudes um that's that's made from that um i think if something's like really old you can you can sell it um but you know they don't do the some countries don't do the trade of those things which is you know pretty bloody cool i reckon too so that's cool i like those things great big animal now um same deal um i see this one's been eaten a bit by by the mushies insects um same same dealy oh that's interesting 
Okay. Uh, it's been eaten by mushy soaps. They are the skins are damaged. I think this is cat skin. Looks really thin. Um, which is the, the highest level of skins. Um, right, what I'm gonna do, I'll click off in a minute and put it together. Here, here, you have one of the protectors for the uh, the dealies um, for putting those dealies together. And uh, hopefully we're not missing a piece. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna be worried just then. Look at that, got your protectors on there. Right, oh God, this is what's known as this is good stuff. Yeah, this is very good stuff. Oh my, look what we have in here. Beautiful old school butchie. Which is damaged, but... Oh, um, actually, I might be able to chuck in a, another... I'll chuck in a plastic butchie. And these, now there's a bit of... I'm going to show me some resources here. Uh, got a bit of chipping on there, but it's good on that side. So I'll, I'll chuck this one in too. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the box inside of the box and then I'll surround it with, um, I'll surround it with, uh, you know, packing and all that sort of stuff. The box, it just keeps on giving here. Oh, there's uh, some information of the shop itself. Very old stuff in here. And here. Oh, no. Um, Oh yeah, that's your, that's what you connect your strings to. That is awesome, and it's brand new, so they've got themselves a new one of that. Strings look good. Oh look at that, I've already got one. Strings look good. This is this is top class stuff. Yes, an extra box thingy here. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's another protector. So that would. Uh -huh. there, we go, there we go. The boxer just keeps on giving. What's going on here? Now, uh, there's a there's another one of the, the protectory things. Ah, let's see. That's that might have been bonded to that at some stage. Uh, what's over here? I'll just investigate. Investigation time. Oh, I've got something in here. Ah, this we have um, new strings. Two new strings. Nice. The color codes tell you which strings they are. Um, from what I recall, it's funny that um, there's a lady. That I go to see, have been going to see for years. Actually, that's a biwa right there. I was just thinking about saying that word. Um, I had to refund because that came back to me. Um, or no, I think this particular one. No, I didn't actually. I was about to send it, and then I couldn't send it. That that was the time when the horror of um, hearing the story that you can't send stuff via Silicon Air or Sea Freight anymore, or, or, or Air Freight. Now Air Freight is coming along. Um, as of June the 1st, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna list that, and America and Canada will have limited services, and they're more expensive. Am I still wearing the Shinto hat? <laughs> yes. Um, we'll have limited services, and uh, higher surcharges, which look pretty steep, to be honest. Um, but, alas, you know, stuff like that can go. Um, I had to refund that. It's, that's reminding me that I refunded the chat. Um, but yeah, um, I will be able to eventually send that again. That was for Legacy Crafting. So, who knows? Might be, they might be uh, well keen to go for it again. It was most unfortunate. I had to refund so much. So much. Oh, God. Nearly led me to my absolute ruin. Yeah. So ruin is just around the corner. Right? This will be a bridge. Yes. You know, it's like constant impending doom. 
that's, that's my existence. Yeah, there you go, it's a beautiful bridge right there. So you've got your bridge, you've got your strings, you've got everything. Now I'll just roughly put it together just to give you a bit of an idea of how it is. This is top class stuff. So yeah, I'll put this box uh, inside of a box with all kinds of packing all around it. This is top class stuff, definitely. I uh, would rather send this via air freight. Um, oh, the crows are finally going to eat my shit. Yeah, it's great. I threw some up on the roof to let them know that there's more in the back of the rig. Um, yeah, I would prefer, I will put it up for uh, sea freight, although I would prefer if someone would pay those extra charges um, uh, and have it air mailed. Yeah. Oh, alrighty then. Okay, now I didn't um, put it all the way in, right? Um, tapped it in. Well, basically, you just get your hands and push it in. Um, yeah, you wouldn't want to tap it in. Um, now, uh, so yeah, it's just it's just sitting loose at, at present. Now I found um, the fittings are just beautiful. Yeah, you just push them in. Yeah. Um, I found with this one, I was um, try as I may, I couldn't quite get it in. I'm like, what's going on here? And I was looking at it, and then then I had another go, and it went straight in. And it's very strange. Um, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, excellent fittings. So you'll find that this one's got a slot there, an indentation or whatever, and that's um, so that's the the mating surfaces, the female and the male. So you couldn't, you can't put it opposite because that's a that's a male. You see, so you'll figure it out. But yeah, I, I was kind of like strange that I just couldn't quite make it happen and then suddenly it just happened <laughs> um do -do 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 -do. welcome to the toilet zone. um so this is made is that that red sandalwood or is that that other stuff oh it's the oh i forgot the name of the other this is good stuff just have faith just have faith in here yeah? this is really good stuff okay now i'm gonna i'm gonna plonk that over there and then look for something else. I think I've got some really cool Buddhisty stuff going on. Yeah. Oh god, I've got some good stuff. Right then. Okay, now this is the Biwa. And now this one here was actually sold. Um I've got the address of the chap. Um, um actually it's a it's a business some kind of crafting thing so yeah I've got the address so what I'll do I'll look on my PayPal um, account and um, see what I actually sold it for they're expensive these things um so because I, I packed it masterfully masterfully and I don't wish to uh, totally unpack it again you see and so what I'll do is I'll find the video I've definitely got a video of this um, of this piece, of this beautiful Biwa, and therefore, um, I'll, uh, now, uh, what am I trying to, I'm trying to get out a whole bunch of words, just mouth noises, um, yes, yeah, so I did actually sell it, and then the horror of the, n the news, um, that you couldn't send things via cell economy and or EMS. Um, as of June the 1st, America, I, I, I think it was America, um, yeah, I'll try and contact this, these people, um, this um, buyer, because I had to refund, what a painful thing that was, oh my, imagine, you know, the amount of things I had to refund, sent me to my goddamn ruin, yep, Houston, Texas, Houston, Houston, who? <laughs> um, Houston, Texas. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll look on my PayPal account. Um, that must have been, what, a year and a half ago, was it? When all this nonsense, all this bullshit befell us. Um, so, this here, um, EMS is available in Europe. Um, 
and EMS will be available from it's the 22nd now uh, so just eight days time um, if that's right ooh, ooh, ooh. what do we got there 22nd of May that was golden week right there <laughs> now we've got a 22nd uh, being a Saturday all right so we've got a, a 31st going on there too so as of the 1st of June 2021 um, America and Canada will have oh Canada uh, we'll have um, the Canucks have looked after me over the years uh, and the Yanks yes uh, we're good mates um, we'll have EMS now limited services and they're gonna they're, they're up the charges for temporarily um, yeah I've got the actually I've got the paperwork in here didn't I? Um, so yes there will be EMS service available it will be expensive but you know that unit right there is is very very good stuff um oh, i've left it back at the ranch yes that's back at the ranch oh the crows are starting to eat my shit um they uh i chucked a whole bunch up there and um they were fighting over it i couldn't believe it i cooked that shit now i chucked some more but they they took off because i was here um all right now uh yeah so um unfortunately yeah i had to refund the chap and um that was that but um yeah, so we will have limited ems services but we have ems uh, which is uh, fast air um which won't be so fast because of uh, all this backlog and all that sort of stuff and uh not many planes so um not a whole uh certainly not as as uh up and running as it what it used to be but yeah year and a half that's been sitting there waiting for me to do to uh waiting for planes that's what it, what it, that's what it is all right um so yeah i'll find that video and uh, that way i'll be able to i'll probably be able to get a screenshot from from the um i usually do obviously a really cool photo shoot and i generally would with something like this i'd really go to town um on that but i don't wish to unpack that because that's some serious packing going on there yeah uh i really put a lot of work into that sort of stuff as you can see now uh right i'll take that up and next all right let's go over all this stuff shall we that's some nice stuff here um check this out my well, mate uh, he's just gone for a walk around this beautiful area around here um i'm gonna he's made up this sato sa what do you call it sauteed or sauteed or whatever chicken stuff and that's our seaweed right there with eggs and mm, let's just have a bit more of this oh yeah it's all right yeah, you get it. Hungry fat chick. Check out her her site, <laughs> her channel. It's like, mmm, 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 mmm. It's like I call it food sex. So embarrassing. My God. That woman needs to slow down on that food. People keep telling her. She doesn't listen. She doesn't care. I wrote on, on her uh, message board there, you know, about some of the ailments that she's suffering from. And look, you know, you got to... I'm one of those people that that care. And sort of tough love kind of care. Um, she, uh, yeah, she's definitely on the way out. And she goes, she eats this meal for about half an hour straight, mm, 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 going all food sex. At the end of it, she says, no, I didn't really like it. <laughs> and gives a bad review. <laughs> oh, the madness continues. Now, what we have here, here, is, um, now this thing here, uh, now I've just taped these things on. I did this nigh on two years ago, I guess. Um... This little turtly guy here, 
I'll take this on too. This is the pan of which this thingy here goes in this little hole here. And he, uh, this thingy here goes on top of here. There's a guy out there that's into turtles. I met him in Australia. Yeah, what a nice bloke. Um, he's in the, I think his last name's Turtle or something. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. Oh. farmers all that was like rice fields at one stage and then this um, co-op came in and they've um, a lot of it was all bamboo see like that there and they've cut it all down all heaps of it and um, extended it and made more and more and more there's a farm up there with cows and uh, all the way down there you'll see um, when uh, you'll see in one of my videos, if you want to see that, um, one of my videos where I, I go for a one-handed ride on this, um, I actually go down there, and you can see how just how beautiful it is. Yes, yes. All right. Um, yeah. So here's the pan. So you put this dealy in that hole there, and you put this pan thing into a hole in it in the center on this sharp thing in here. Uh, and there, and uh, uh, up here, right, so that is connected to that one, and that bone connected to that one, and that bone connected to that, so it's all, it's all there. These are expensive, beautiful, it goes like that, right, so that's that, god, I've put down how much I should charge, but that's just, you know, I'll keep it like that, 60 bucks, because of fees and all that stuff, so, Anyways, um, right, you've got this uh, wood lacquered, beautiful old box here. Yeah. Some, some markings on there. Now, uh, you got this thing here. I think it's Ebisu, is it? Uh, Ebisu, -y. yeah, there it is. There's Ebisu right there. And he's got this magic hammer thing, and he shakes this thing. And then wealth comes out of it. That's groovy. Um, this groovy bronzy thing. Uh, that's, this is um, some of this stuff is uh, utilized at the um, Butsudan, the um, uh, Buddhist altar. You got, uh, that's the year of the rooster, is it? No, 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 that's not right. There's a turtle and a uh, and the. Um, one of those dealies. <laughs> um, right, uh, let's see now. A stalk. Um, yeah, that's uh, a stalk. It needs a bit of a clean. Yeah, just clean that up there, and there you go. Ooh, that nice. Yeah, it all neat. Um, wow, beautiful. That would have been a gift for, for someone at some stage. Now, um, you got this beautiful vase here. God, that's too cheap. I'm selling it too cheap. 60. Are you kidding? This is too good. My dickhead. I'm white trash. That's why I'm. I'm poor white trash. Uh, let's see. Now, um, uh, these here, beautiful pieces right here, are. Um, that's the emperor's seal. Right there, you got this silver one here, and the gold. These will be plated. Uh, and that's the Empress seal also. They're not beautiful. And I didn't even clean it. I haven't, haven't even cleaned them up yet, so nor have I done this one either. I haven't cleaned that one up. Nor that one. I haven't cleaned up any of this stuff. I just pulled it out. Right out. You can clean it. Uh, uh, as this one. Awesome rad. The dragon. Dun dun dun. Wah! Into the dragon. Yeah. Isn't that cool? 24 carat gold plated into the dragon. I like saying that. <laughs> this here I found some kind of needs a clean up. That's a, a little earring or something on it. Don't know what's that dealie. Aha! There you go. How's this dealie? 
Go like that, and you put some stuff in it. Uh, what would that be? Pepperin, what do they call it? Stuff. And um, look, yeah, 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 yeah. So it goes like that. So it's a, that one of them thingies. This thing here um, has got me perplexed. Yeah, you go like this. And, uh, and you go like that, and you keep pulling it. It goes, yeah! <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. Um, I, that's a, that's a that. Yeah, that, that's a that. Right. Now, um, we've got this dealy here. Now, this would be cool to, um, to, like, paint or something that you work with. Now, uh, these here, um, uh, bronze, a lot of this is bronze stuff, right? Um, bronze, um, vases with spider. <laughs> Over there. Um, so they're, they're actually used at the uh, butzdown to the, um, the altar to pray to your ancestry, stuff like that. Um, now, here we have some old school, um, a roll of kimono material. Isn't that cool? It's even got in here the, uh, some kind of thing from the actual shop itself. So we've got some kanji written there somewhere. I think that's that might be a cap of over wood. I think that's plastic. So you know it's not that old, uh, but still that's good stuff. I mean it's not like from the 1700s or something. Right, so you get all of this. Oh god, 70, 60 bucks. No, that's not even fair. I gotta pack the bloody thing, don't I? 70, yeah, 70, because it's gonna take me time to 70 bucks, there you go. That's got to be fair. God damn it. Uh, okay, um, right, let's see what else I can find. Next up on the price is right, the price is right, come on down. Right, um, what we have here is this Shinto priest. Yes! What's going on there? Check what you need to go back there. Now, um, right, now this Shinto priest here. Uh, he's been sitting over there for ages, and uh, he's gonna maybe, get, maybe clean him up a little bit more. Um, that's coming off most of it, isn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah, go. Okay, just give him a bit of a. Yeah, that's fine. Give him a bit of a clean, a bit more. Um, yeah. This dude. Now, when my mate gets back, if I remember, I'll, I'll ask him to maybe give me a bit of a translation here. I know there's a date there. That's it. Uh, Showa Ninen, is that right? Can't be. Um, that would mean the maker's mark there too. Um, that would mean, uh, let's see, Showa 1927? No way, it would probably, because it doesn't seem old at all. Um, so I would say it probably speaks of that time that'd be it because it's certainly surely it's not no, looks like it was made yesterday hmm. anyways. anyways shinto priest i suggest to see freight for this guy um now obviously it's still taking a long time but actually a chap another one uh another uh, ebay uh, contacted me and said oh i finally got my saw and he's like it's radical so that's good um, thank you, sir. Um, but it was past the time of three months because things are slow. Uh, it took um, from January you bought it, he said. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, after with after three months, you can't give me feedback. So some of my eBayers to help bring resurrect my business. They, uh, you know, when they buy something, they just give me good feedback right away. So um, without even receiving the item, you know. They're cool. They're good people. Yep, there's still some good people out there. That's good. Right then. Yeah, I'll leave him up there. So, uh, oh, I probably should show you a bit more of him. I only took a few little pictures. Um, he's just really groovy. In fact, a Shinto priest gave me, see this? 
gave me this and you'll find the um that was at a festival time and you'll find that um in one of my recent videos that i had a, a jizzle um and i went to that very shrine and he is one of my subscribers <laughs> how's that isn't that cool guys yeah right so how's that um all right there's one of those those magic hammers from from Ebisu that I, I showed you um and there's the wealth um right now uh yeah he's he's really cool all right pheasant or something yeah isn't he cool and look at this hat and look at these i'm gonna list these soon that one's okay i was wearing it earlier and this one here has has broken but i reckon with a bit of glue so these are real deal antiques that's the real deal right there these are the real deal and check this out my my what we got here dun, 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 dun. Wow. Real deal. This would be from get that bubble wrap off there. This is um Meiji period from what I understand it. So that'd be 1868 to 1912. Somewhere around that region. Right, it's a real deal. So you got different designs. That's Shinto right there. I prefer to keep it <laughs> for myself. Oh, I'm so selfish. I shouldn't have those thoughts. I need 108 flaws of character. This speaks of um, that sort of stuff. Rage and anger and all kinds of things. Check this out. My, my. You know um, the movie Lethal Weapon 4 when Jet Li's got these beads and he's you know when you sort of i think when you, he's yeah he's on top of some building or something he's got these beads and he's just going like this maybe in some other scenes and um my my look what we have here now i had to pay a lot for this i don't even recall what i paid for it but i remember um lots of battery low <laughs> that's what it said um i bought this little i've got two batteries and i bought this little dearly because like my old camera used to have two batteries and I had a charger um, but this particular one you just charge it directly from the computer with using the USB thingies I'm sounding like I'm an expert with all this stuff <laughs> not um, and so uh, I've got yeah I've got this little charger dearly so that's groovy uh, we can continue and I've got another memory card too I don't even remember what they're called right then now as I was saying about this I think I was opening it up and when it went boom so I popped it back in now this here I do recall that people were going crazy for this and I kind of went crazy <laughs> I was thinking okay I'll be able to sell this and um and uh, then the virus thing hit, and then I couldn't send anything via air. And this really should go by air. Look at this beautiful antique Buddhist beautiful huh? beads. This one isn't that nice. beads that one and that's your and that's your bracelet there you go i actually had one of these in fact i was talking to a guy just the other day he had one on and i was telling him that um mine actually broke and all the beans went everywhere doll um but yeah look at this these are these are very popular yes very popular indeed this is good stuff that's um not going to be cheap and i would by far prefer to send that by ems so we do have um may the 22nd and on june the 1st we're going to start having um ems via 
uh, to finally to um, America and Canada although there's going to be these major surcharges I think I just said that earlier um, I'm going to compile all these videos into one using that movie maker thing um, so yeah that's uh, yeah <laughs> oh man stuff yeah the uh, virus thing has driven me mad <laughs> God, you can't believe that. Mm. Still got all the dust all over it from it sitting there for, because that stuff comes down there, it's sitting there for all that, all that time. I was making room in there for some of the things I've been listing, and uh, came across, I moved some things out of the way. That's uh, an antique old school, that's old school butchie right there. And this, I haven't seen this in years. It's been sitting there for years. This is old school. That's Meiji. Meiji period. Um, 1868 to 1912. There's wood lacquer bowls. There's dust in them. There's a load of them. Look at this. Look at this. You are looking. <laughs> look at that. Beautiful. Let's have a look at that again. Look at that, eh? Hey, 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 hey. Pack a PJ, extra bottle, scooter, rashes, thanks. <sighs> yeah, it drives me mad. I tell you, it really, really hard. Like the um, this uh, virus thing. God, I had like 250 video uh, listings. Um, I did all the videos and I went to all these shrines and temples and all the mountains and all kinds of cool places. And whoosh! It just tore my business apart. Cause, and then took all my all my listings off and suspended me. Oh, all because uh, people said, oh, I'm not receiving my stuff. Yeah, because it all came back and I had to refund you. <laughs> uh, thankfully, eBay, um, they, uh, when I contacted them, they sort of understand what's going on. And they're like, yeah, yeah, you know, you do have a beautiful business. And yeah, you know, I showed them my YouTube channel. And so that was really great of them to be so understanding of that. And then they reinstated me and... And uh, the trepidation I had of, uh, you know, if I put up a whole bunch of listings again, what's going to happen? Will the computer just erase everything again? Um, but my performance level is slowly coming back up. Oh, I had 100%. Everything's going great. And then just boom. They just brought the boom. Like this, not eBay, but the, uh, the computer system and that goddamn virus crap. Um, yeah, really, really hit hard. Okay, um, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to list this stuff. Yes, oh yes, I will. Okay, now, what we're going to do, careful with this one, um, after June the 1st, 2021, um, we'll uh, have, we'll start to have uh, EMS, as I was saying, uh, yeah, I'm going to compile all these videos, and I, so I don't have to keep saying it over and over again. Prefer for these to go via. Uh, okay, so we're going to have one listing there. That's separate listing, separate listing, separate listing, separate listing. Yes. Um, now, what we're going to do is uh, these guys here. Um, is a bit rougher than I actually thought, because uh, under here, but this would be a nice piece to put together. Um, so these two will be listed together, yeah. And uh, yeah, he's pretty rough under here too. But uh, that's the real deal, you know. This is real deal antique stuff. So this would be great in a in a cabinet, something like that. Um, even just leaving like that, but you could probably bond him, bond that piece back together. I think I mentioned most of this, anyways. This one is in surprisingly. Good condition you see the, the rust in that that ring there you know these are these are beautiful really old very rare kind of stuff they don't exactly 
give these things away <laughs> um so yeah i prefer if they go via ems i will make up a box for them and i'll put box protectors inside it um so that uh the box will have the best chance to look after these things um yeah so that's going to be one listing there this box here um bottom side it's seen better days <laughs> uh you could make up a piece for that if you want to do from what i can understand because this particular style see that tab there that tag i believe that this was in at some stage an antique shop yes uh at some stage just beautiful stuff uh, stylized kanji there um my mate uh, he's he's gone off wandering around the jungle <laughs> i wish he was back so we could have a look at some of this stuff at all uh, some of the writing sometimes you can you can pick it out sometimes it's really old stuff and he's good he's good with these kanji and uh, he's got one of these fancy computery things so you can often look stuff up too um this here is just absolutely gorgeous this is um that's meiji period stuff right there that's that's the real deal yeah that's shinto all right beautiful real deal shinto hat right there that's um that's uh yeah that's that's good um i kind of want it <laughs> to be honest well i've hung on to it for a couple of years so i'm gonna have to let it go i guess this piece here has come off and that at one stage was just like that one hooked up in there it's like a little wire or something so the hole still exists on that side so you put a little uh, bit of wire in there and you can hook that bit up reattach it be, that's that that's you know that's that's rare stuff um i'm gonna have to put bubble wrap all around it and then put this box inside another box um, with packing all around it, something like that. Um, and again, I'd prefer that that goes via air mail, but air mail is expensive. But I'll set them up for C. Um, and who knows, someday, uh, you know, if they don't sell right away, um, someday uh, we might end up having sell economy air again. And uh, that'll be the way to go. Uh, these beautiful pieces right here this, right so separate listing separate listing separate listing separate listing that's generally for the, the europeans uh, look at these oh my this is good stuff yep oh yes that's beautiful stuff right there so i'm gonna have to get a these are worth a pretty penny definitely so i'm gonna gonna have to uh, put on a pretty serious price for these and, um, and that'll pay the rent for a month <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh, I don't mind if you don't buy them <laughs> that's for goddamn sure <laughs> I'm gonna leave them right here oh, yeah. that's Buddhist stuff right there Shinto 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 Buddhist beautiful stuff have a look at this right there and, oh, oh what do we got here <laughs> oh what do we have here and what do we have here what do we have here and what do we have here what do we have here oh what do we have here what's going on meditation beads yeah In the world a lot of people need a lot more meditation Definitely, he, he's meditating right now. Dharma. Now, I don't recall, I remember, I do recall, I guess, I do recall not recalling, that uh, this piece here I listed at some stage before my business was blown to pieces. Um, that this, this is rock and uh, stone. Um, this Dharma I had listed, I, I had like 240 listings before it. I was rudely blown to pieces. Um, this is beautiful. Here, I should put 
here there's a display too and <laughs> sometimes I, i'm supposed to sell this stuff and i just keep going oh no that's that I might just display that <laughs> yes oh there's chloe see he's up on there he is there's chloe he um oh look at that moon it's only four o'clock wow chloe how's it going um, I've been feeding them. Finally, they decided to eat my stuff. They must be, they must be starving if they're going to eat my food. Some of it ended up over there. I, I went to flick it out over on the roof and and um, ended up. Hopefully there's still some up there. Yeah, yeah, there's still some up there. Crowy's here. He uh, last year I haven't seen him for like a year. He uh, often sits on there and calls me. Beautiful. There he goes. How's that? The moon? I'm going to just check what time it is. Hold on. Supposed to be listing stuff. Yeah. 20 past four. How's that? 20 past four in the afternoon. And we have a beautiful moon. Wow, things are going to get better after all. Yes, yeah, just be positive and things are going to get better. Tunnel key right there. Got my own tunnel key. Actually, there's a real one that lives down there and he crawls along in here in the middle of the night. So sometimes I'm here at 2 o'clock in the morning, like packing stuff and whatever. I've been, I've done all-nighters before. In fact, uh, in the real heat of the summer, I've, um, I've uh, been here because the hot tin roof gets terrible in here. Actually, that thing there eventually came back to me. And they, when they things got to come back, they get totally roughed up. Look at this. Broke. Kidding me. The piece is still here. So, I reckon I should sell this crazy cheap. And someone could just weld that back on there. I actually had a welder. I gave it to a friend and I kind of had a bit of a fallout. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I didn't, oh, and he still got it. Um, oh, well, a good friend too. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Now, uh, you can't win them all. Now, uh, so that's that. Yeah, these are, yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, if you do so purchase these, um, you will be A, paying my rent for the month, and um, I'd really like to see a picture of those. Of you wearing them or something. No obligation, obviously. But yeah, that's, uh, yeah, they're going to stay right there. Okay. Put them over with Nietzsche. There you go, mate. That's mine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's supposed to be listing stuff. Oh, oh it's, yes, there it is. I'm looking for you. Look at this. This is my Howry. I've um, worn this at. I went to a market and I was like, I want to be look more authentic, so I put this Howry on when I was selling things at this market. Isn't that rad? Uh, this this is um, it's called the Hakozaki Jinja, um, the Hakozaki Jinja Market, and uh, God, will I just get back to work? <laughs> All right, I like what I do. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Hmm? Right then, my mate came back. He went for a walk around this area. This is just beautiful. So he lives right in town, and. Um, in a in an area that's just so busy <laughs> sometimes you go to the um the train line there right so you're driving right you go to the railway crossing you're like no you know ding 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 a train will go by ding 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 and another train will go by 
ding, ding, ding. And then another train will go by. How the hell does that work? And then ding, ding, and another train will go by. I swear, I've sat there and had four trains go by. Uh, this has happened a number of times. Okay, um, we were able to, unable to figure out what this stylized kanji is. Oh, uh, now here, now see, I knew that this wasn't so old because it did say it did mention Showa ni Nen, which is um, what was that 1927? But it actually says also here Heisei San Nen. Now Heisei began in I think it was 89. So you count that. You count 89, 90, 91. So this was made in 1991, and it was made by this says made by A G. Right, so we're good there. And this here um, is a celebration of rice. So this would be um, a celebration of a harvest. That's what that would translate into. Now, what we have here are these two. They'll be separate. This thing's separate. This separate. This separate. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, these go together. I'll, I'll send these together. Now, uh, what we have here, this is a poem. All stylized, so um, but it's um, uh, let's see, this says um, poem by Haru, oh, what is it? Hakuren, Hakulen, that's a Hakulen right there, so that's the, the poet. Now, what we have here, okay, so we'll put these two together, I'll you know, obviously, I'll put some packing between them and all that sort of stuff, um. Let's see now. This here, what this says, is a uh, 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 kane no naruki. Mm -hmm. Kane no naruki. It means how to make wealth. Um, so how to generate wealth, something like that. And this is the the methods of how to generate wealth. Now here we've got. Uh, Showa Yonju Hachinen Hachigatsu, right? So, uh, August of, um, yeah, I've got to work that out. And the braid, uh, 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 I think 1973. That was made in 73. There you go. Oh wow! These are the uh, depictions of um, yeah. There you go. Kane no naruki. And that key there looks different from that type of key, but that's also key. Yeah. Um, that's the uh, depictions of antique coins. Isn't that rad? Right, price is going up. <laughs> yes, uh, I'll list that in a minute. Now, let's get on to one of my favorite things. These are a few of my favorite things. Now, I've had this for years. Um, couldn't send it uh, but uh, because of its size and how it would need to be packed. But now, uh, well, Europe has EMS, most of the major countries in Europe, the larger countries. Um, and, uh, as of June the 1st, 2021, um, America and Canada, as I said that, didn't I? I said I was going to compile this vid. Right, that'll be able to go via EMS because it's much larger, you can send much larger things via EMS. And this is a beautiful bronze lantern, and these are... These are um, what you'll find, you can find this sort of stuff at Buddhist temples, in like cemetery type stuff, with the design and these things here. They're beautiful. I reminded myself to mention that as I took the pictures of people might think it's got holes in it or something. Well, it has, but they're meant to be there. Look at this. This is just remarkably beautiful. If the fins get a bit bent, you just, just bend them back up. A couple of them were down a bit, I just bend them back up. Just nice and easy and uh, not a problem. Beautiful design. Now, it's going to be, I'm going to have to pack this really good, so um, it's going to be pretty expensive to send. Uh, look at that, it's even the design down here. 
Now this is really quite old. Um, now originally it would have had just simply glass in there. And I think someone's made these up and replaced them. That's what I would, that's my guess. Now, I think that might be plastic pieces. Yeah, that's plastic pieces right there. Cause yeah, the glass on these, I've seen a few of these over the years never been able to have one look at that seal it's all rusted in there this has been you know this has been thoroughly weathered and it would have been i would say at a buddhist temple yes beautiful even look at that it's even got design under there yeah i want a pretty penny for this um i uh from recollection Beautiful. Um, I uh, recall I was at an auction house when I went for this. There was three of us in it. Um, There's plenty of people in the room, but there was three of us that sort of that went for it. And uh, there's this Korean girl, and uh, she's friends with some other friends. And uh, she, uh, she, she wanted it, and I wanted it. And you know, often we sort of let each other go, kind of thing, but. This time I was like, uh -uh. <laughs> you know, we're, we're friends, we're rivals. We're all friends, we're rivals, you know, because you always need help with, uh, like at the auction house, something might be too heavy to handle on your own, something like that. Um, and we're all there to help each other out. But we're rivals, we're friends, we're rivals. It's really sort of, it's like that. That's the world of it, you know. It's great stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, this girl and I went at it. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I want a pretty penny for that, that's for sure. And, um. Oh, God, I was going to say. Oh, yeah. And we hadn't. We've only sort of really, for years, we just sort of smiled at each other, and, you know, <laughs> pretty much, and that was pretty much it. But I've never. I've never. Like, I've heard her speak in Japanese to others. And, uh. And one day we were looking at some stone things or something, and, um. She, uh, she just uh, turns to me and just starts speaking to me in just natural English, you know? <laughs> I was like, just for years she never said anything. So she's probably sort of judging me or, or what I say or listens to what I say. And, you know, she can understand what I'm saying other dudes. And um, I might have actually mentioned uh, like once or twice, you know, she, she's pretty. I wouldn't mind asking her out, you know? Um, but uh, she doesn't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> she probably would have just because we often um, go head to head with um, certain things. She likes kudo stuff. Um, I mean, I remember we we went at it with a yazutsu one time and some other things over the years. And but sometimes we're always very polite to each other, so that's cool. But yeah, I think she knows I'm keen on her. <laughs> oh, how embarrassment! Okay then. Um, let's get on to this, yes. Yeah, um, right, I'm gonna have to, as I say, pack that real good. Um, I guess if you, if you wanted to, you could, um, I think this will come up just beautiful, sticking a candle in there just as it is with this, with this white plastic stuff. If you wanted to go more authentic, um, you could, there's nothing in those ones. It's, it's there, and there, and there, and there. Um, you know, you could cut up some glass and uh, and do it the way they originally do that stuff. You could, because it's like really, really thin glass that they put in these things. So well, that's old school stuff. Ah, just leave it the way. Well, now, uh, actually, I've got that really awesome piece up there. Um, Oh god, I think I just broke the internet. You, you might have seen my mate over there in the video. <laughs> He's sitting there studying, right? Yeah, you're reading comic books, aren't you? God. And uh, he said um, he was going to read the news to me. We usually talk about current affairs and stuff. And he goes, yeah, yeah, give me ten minutes. That was three hours ago. <laughs> yeah, good mate, that one. He's... He's helped me out a lot over the years. Good bloke. Alright. 
I helped him to get two girlfriends, um, two Westerners. He said to me, I, I want to I wanna have a Westerner girlfriend. And uh, he's like, <laughs> yeah, talking about you. I didn't say who you are. <laughs> oh, look at that. God, that's just too big. But it could go by EMS, but it's just, that's brilliant. I should put that up someday. Um, yeah, and uh, so he gets these two girlfriends and he just dumps them. After like a month, he dumps them. He, he goes to me, oh, she's so beautiful. You know, I really want to go out there. So I taught him how. I taught him, like training him, in training. And, uh, you know, what to say and how to say it. You know, all the bulldust that men have to say. And um, so he gets this, the second one gets his girlfriend. About a month later, he dumps her and goes, oh, you know. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> you can't be helped. You've got problems. Right. Okay, okay, one of the girls was a stripper. <laughs> yeah. Right then. Okay, let's get on to something else. I'm gonna do a lot of listings today. Um that was right, this is gonna be listing number thirteen. So my goal is today to do twenty listings. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, as I measure this, I think, uh, what was it? Uh, 443.60, um, so 44 centimeters, um, overall, so I'm talking the, uh, 44 centimeters from tip to tip from here to, and I'm including that, that tip to tip there. And uh, what was it, 36, I think, from fin tip to fin tip. I'll just go clarify that again. That's that one, I shoot. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. 36 and 44. No one can read my hieroglyphics. Um, 44 centimeters tall and 36 centimeters wide at the fins so there you are okay actually I might quickly go over that again just to give you a bit of a heads up for those of you that are watching and please do comment would you please um, send me some you know well-constructed hate mail as I like to say um yeah you know um, reach out reach out and uh, you know well, now that I've got a, one of my mates here, um, he, uh, he's given me an awesome translation of this, and even this. This is an antique kusuli uh, box, which is um, a medicine box, medicine chest. This is for the, um, oh, I mean, the, um, just been eating <laughs> the uh, Buddhist beads in there. And uh, let's see what we've got here. Uh, this, uh, this here says uh, Maruban. Um, yeah, that's circle and that's ban meaning number. And here we've got um, uh, Bikuli means surprised. Now, um, what else we got here? Um, we've got here mouth uh, kusuli, medicine. Um, and also we've got uh, yama. Naka, so inside the mountain. Um, something to do with say, uh, hang on, uh, uh, that's not right. Yeah, house, meaning house, uh, and um, koelu, pass over, something like passing over the house or something. This here is wa, meaning peace, happiness, and it also means Japan. So, that's groovy. Antique medicine box. Isn't that cool? Right then. Let's have a move on to here, shall we? This might take some time. Now, now this here is like for the sake of. What's what's the kanji actually called? For the sake of? Uh, tame. Tame. Yeah. Okay, so that's tame. And uh, that's uh, for the sake of. So it, and it's, it's speaking of this. Um, now this speaks of a number of 
a number of temples. Uh, this here is Chikko Inn, and uh, that's a temple name. And uh, along here we have, um, let's see, Reaching the Sky, Sincerity, uh, Constant Armor. Um, let's see now. Uh, Constant Armor and Armor is. Um, there's Amma, that's the kanji for Amma. Oh, hang on, we've got to also... Let me, let me go through here. Um, uh, female monk, 37 grudge. Uh, right, that's down there. Um, right, here we go. Um, let's see, for the sake of... Tama. Tame? Tame? Yeah, Tommy. Right. Right, Tommy. <laughs> I can't even read my own my own oh, right now we've got Sinceri uh, uh Daiko Inn, which is the um, name of the temple. Um uh, Reach the Sky uh, Sincerity Good Constant Gate. Now that there is a, a known as a gate. That's what this line says. Um Daiko Inn yeah, meaning the temple, reach the sky, sincerity, uh, good, constant gate. And here we have um, 77 grudge, uh, this one of the uh, 108, um, what is it, flaws of character or whatever they call it. Um, and down here we have, uh, I think it's this one, yeah, Chi. Go in, Chico in temple. Now it has reaching, reaching the sky, sincerity, sincerity, constant ama, constant ama, meaning female monk, right there. Um, and then we have Sanju Nana, Sanju Nana grudge, thirty-seven grudge. Now I'm going to have a look on the list of one hundred eight. Uh, what do they call them? Flaws of character? That's not what it's called. Uh, let's see if number 37 is, is grudge. And sort of like, uh, yes, that's, that's, that's where we are. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, over here we have Zyko in another temple. So it mentions four temples. Um, and Deep Sky, Jol Shin, uh, meaning pure, purify the mind. Uh, constant gate. There's the other the kanji for constant gate again. Um, and twenty four grudge. All right. So the, the I presume that's got something to do with the the twenty fourth floor of character out of the hundred and eight. Uh, this is I'm going to have to have going to have to have a look at the lists and see how that how that uh, matches up um, over here we've got Baiko in right there's the fourth temple um, Baiko in temple yeah pure praise uh, purify constant ama there's that kanji again ama meaning female monk and what we have here is a uh, um, um, 22, that could be the 22nd grudge, something like that. And over here it says, um, Showa Sanju Nana Nen uh, Gogatsu. So let's figure that out. Um, nineteen that's when this was made. 1962. And, uh, I figure another one around here. Yeah, this one's got a whole lot of kanji too. Oh, it does. I'm going to have to... I swear I wrote all that down somewhere at some stage and a couple of years ago, or at least before that... Uh, before the business went... <laughs> oh, what we have here... This is the head monk. Um, and his name is... Uh, Shintaro... Kimoto Kimoto Shintaro Kimoto 
That's the uh, the head monk's name at the time, at this time, when this was made. There you are. Um, right. I might be having a battery issue right now. Um, let's see. Uh, it cut out on me just then. Uh, uh, now, uh, hopefully this battery will have enough charge. Now, this bell here, which is also awesome. Uh, let's see now. This one, this here, I said, oh no. This speaks of the, um, the contributors to the temple. Okay. And um, there are many names scribed on here. And what we have here is um, Uma Doshino Otoko and Uma Doshino Ona. Now, um, we have here, uh, uh, this means Hono, and it's like the, uh, in giving, giving, so uh, uh, financially contributing to the temple is generally what that, what that means. What we have here is name, and we have, um, this is uh, that means snake, that's year, and this is uh, ona, meaning female, so someone was born in the year of the snake. And we have name, name, here we have Uma, uh, Uma Doshi no Otoko, which is um, someone born in the year of the horse. Names, names, uh, Names, here's a year of the horse again, and we have Ona, uh, female born in the year of the horse. And what we have here is uh, Showa Junen Nigatsu, which is February of the 10th year of the Showa period. Now, Showa period goes from 1926, starts from 1926. So you go 1926, add 10, 1936, and uh, take off one for the full year. Of the first year of the show period so this was made in February of 1935 and there we have names also so we have here um, also have the uh, the year of the where is it the year of the rooster there there we go uh, a, a male was born in the year of the rooster so this speaks of the zodiac and the contributors to the temple the, uh, those that are a part of this particular temple there we go. isn't that beautiful and I don't know the temple name yeah quite convenient having my mate here uh, see there's no cracks or anything just these lines from, from just where we've been made and being beaten into submission. Uh, it's a beautiful piece. And this uh, also like that one has to go via EMS because it's just way too big. <laughs> and it's awesome. I think I said that. Right, there we are. Isn't that cool? We got ourselves a, a translation. Yep, my mate's not here all the time so but he loves it up here, so that's cool. And yes, um, very helpful. All right, now um, I'll, I'll uh, take some pictures of these now, I guess. I've managed to be having um, some battery issues. Uh, we've got, got them on the charger over there, but uh, oh well, we'll do what we can. Now, as stated earlier, um, these dealies here are just groovy now this thing here oh this this one here that i mentioned earlier about um, um this is the way of making money um and this thing here being a poem i mentioned a few things about these earlier um this here it's very interesting this is yonju uh showa yonju Rokunen, which is uh 1971 uh kugatsu the ninth month of 1971 this is the, the the day i think that's the 20th is it um no auspicious day i think that's what it means um what we have here these are family names now we have um uh let's see uh tendoke and 
Shishi Doke. That's it. Now, this means the house of Tendoke. Uh, the, the, sorry, the, the house of Tendo. Uh, and this is the house of Shishido. Yes. House of Tendo, house of Shishido. And this is um, uh, Kekon Kinnen. And this means. Um, Kekon means marriage, so this is a memorial plate of the uh, merger between the uh, the Tendo Ke family and the Tendo the marriage between the, them and the Shishido Ke, the, the house of Shishi and the house of Tendo. How's that? Isn't that rad? Oh, okay, sea freight those. All right, I'll get the weights and measures and uh, figure. Oh, we'll just do it right now. Yeah. Um, so we're talking 35, three, yeah, good, good three hundred and five mil wide by two hundred and forty-five tall. Oh. Yeah. And this one here, we have. Now, say 250 wide by roughly that, uh, uh, say 100 and just shy of 190 mil tall, and that sits up like that. And this one you can you can hang. Isn't that cool? Hey, who gets these? Someone out there, hopefully you uh, show me that you've got them set up somewhere. Righty ho, what else are we going to do? Up next on the Price is Right, come on down. Okay, now we have this really, really cool display helmet. This is an iron display helmet. And um, what I'll have to do when I send it, you know, the tassels are good, you see. Often the tassels are they come off there and you just pop them back in and glue them sort of thing. Um, this is a shishi and another shishi and you find these guys at um, the Shinto shrines in fact um, a recent video I did uh, I went to a Shinto shrine and you'll find some awesome shishis right there lion dogs and there's one right there the shishi lion dog now um, I've got that loose because uh, I'm gonna I'll have to dismantle it so I take this off I take this off possibly yeah, probably take this off this off this and this and it's easy to pop it all back together really rad just radalicious little tassels back here too they're in good condition isn't that cool some people ask me could i could i wear it you know <laughs> ah well you could but <laughs> you're bloody heavy well here we've got some really cool kanji going on in here uh, my mate over there, he's been doing quite a bit of translating today, so I think I think he's done enough. <laughs> so, <laughs> right, so see, you just need a screwdriver and, say, a shifter. What do you call them in America? Adjustable wrench! Adjustable wrench, ah, dang it! <laughs> see, my, my American is excellent. Yep, so, uh, a Phillips head screwdriver there, a star head, a star head, ah, dang! And, uh... <laughs> Oh God, never do that again. Um, yeah, and then you, I think that there'd be eight mil, um, eight millimeters on that one. Just, a, they wouldn't be very tight anyway. So, um, uh, I could probably pop them off with a with a pair of pliers. Um, right, so that'll be dismantled, and uh, I want to see freight this due to weight, um, and it's just rad, radalicious. Yeah, there you go, radalicious. There you go, and uh, yeah, cool, shishi lion dog. There you go, isn't that rat? Okay, cocky, it's a bit to pack, a bit of messing about, so um, yeah, I need at least some decent dough for it, that's for certain. Uh, I've got the weights and measures over there. Alright, now what we have is this, this is amazing, I'm actually not going to pull them all out. This is filled to the brim. Okay, uh, now I'm not going to pull them all out because they're, they're set in a certain way. It's uh, the way they've been put, you know, I wouldn't mind finding out what the date is on this. 
and this stuff here when they actually put them away. And there will be there will be some dates on these newspapers, but um, that's that's only just when they put them away. And I presume, uh, well, anyways, our presumption. Uh, we this tells us um, the uh, this is to do with the year, but the actual year they have the name of the year rather than uh, say made you it or whatever. This I'm tossing up whether it's um, Edo period or Meiji period now because it's got sort of like some nails in it on here but it's also got wood dowels now wood dowels are indicative of the Edo period and right. uh, and metal spikes are indicative of uh, Edo period and nails being being um, uh, Meiji so Meiji, uh, let me try to clarify this, uh, Edo period 1603 to 1868 and Meiji is 1868 to 1912. Now because this has got the name of the year, this might very well be Edo period. Oh, it's all chewed out from some mushies, mushies got to it. So I've got some nails here but that probably would have been repaired you know at some stage. Um, but yeah, filled to the brim with these beautiful, this is um, Urushi lacquer. Look at the design on, on, on the handles. It's fantastic. Look at this. See how it's got a lip there, so they don't, once you place it on correctly, they don't slip off, you see. And then you have uh, for your like, condiments and things like that. This would be fantastic, I mean... Um, I'm gonna have to find a way to. It's gonna. I'm gonna have to find a way to sort of pack it in such a way. Um, but yeah, I think sea freighting this would be a good idea. Um, but yeah, pack a fill to the brim. Like there's loads of them in there, and just have faith that they're gonna be all good. Just have faith on that one. Definitely. That's that's beautiful. That's that's, that's just wow. Um, the mates having real trouble. Trying to, you can read a few of these kanji, but it's um can't quite can't make that out. Um, can't quite make it out. Here we can see. I think that's a Yonju Nana. So oh, is it is it late Meiji? I, uh, I doubt it. It's probably I don't know. <laughs> How about that? It's just beautiful. So hopefully someone out there would uh, be able to appreciate something like this. Oh, I was back in the day, hey? I used to sell Urushi lacquer. I did really well with those. Just whip down to the hardware store and, and pick some up and until I, until I got a knock on the door. <laughs> uh, you do realize that this stuff is uh, flammable. You can't send it. It's illegal. I'm like... Uh, that was the end of that business. Oh, I did really well out of that. I was making like 50 bucks a week or something. Just selling Urushi lacquer. Yeah. That's Kamakura. That's Aka. That's, uh, oh, oh, that's Kamakura Red. Yeah. Kamakura Red. That's Kamakura Red. It's just faded a bit. But that's how it, that's how it actually looks. And that's uh, some of the... Why don't I just shut up and get on with it? Now. Um... Uh, no, I like that stuff. Uh, keep babbling. Good mood. Loaded on coffees. And that's. I've got. Uh, what I've got. What's that? A little white one there. Oh, God. I'd better get back to this. Yeah. Aren't they just exquisite? Yeah. I don't even know if I've even used that word before. Alright. Um, next listing. Alright, come on down. Now what we have here is this really cool hibachi of prior to forgetting. Um, I measured at its extent because some people might want to place it into something. So I measured it at the uh, the, by the base of it at 37 by 37 centimeters. Um, and with a height of what was it, 267 something like millimeters, sorry. 267 mil. Um, yeah, so the main body of it, for instance, is um, 350 by, just a 
bit less than that. That way. Um, yeah, this is uh, Kayaki no Ki, or Kaya no Ki, as they sometimes consider it. Um, and that's, uh, that's that roof tile type material. This is old school. Like in here, I have two pieces of a, a castle wall. They are just rad. Um, so, this here does have a couple of these dealies. See, one's missing here. Um, one's missing there. And one's missing there. And one's missing there. There we go. Now look at the grain in here. Yeah, that's Kayanoki for sure. That's real hard, solid wood perfect for this kind of thing sometimes they have like dates and things on them but no no go on that one now this here how old is it um i'm, I'm gonna go with meiji uh, 1868 to 1912 and that uh look at the look at the beautiful oh you're looking <laughs> oh, that beautiful grain Let's see, what are the flaws in character here? See, it's because they use a sumi, or the smokeless charcoal. Wow, I was shooting for 20 listings for today, like a real big boom. Bring the boom, but uh, battery issues, um, charging issues, that, that uh, I guess it's to do with the wattage or the, uh, the amperage that's pumped out by this little unit here is quite low. Uh, what am I? I'm an electrician now. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> too dumb. Right then. Now I would say that this would have had some kind of top rim on it at some stage. And you can see here. Oh shit! I mean, oh shizzle. Uh, see here, it's, um, my battery indicator showing bad. Um, it's been. It's kind of burnt into it. Isn't that, isn't that fantastic? So, um, yeah, this will have to be the the last listing for today then because it's showing low battery indicator um yeah so send me some comments man i'm lonely sabishi <laughs> sabishi means lonely yeah oh it's just the way it is now um got your handles on the side there so you can move it around yeah and uh, get yourself something you can even use just normal Okay, up next and the price is right. Come on down. Okay, so um, Personally, I think that uh, the artist who made this was uh, was pretty shit <laughs> Yeah, pretty shit artist <laughs> I'm gonna call this diarrhea art. Yeah, someone out there wants it um, Yeah, I've seen some shit art over the years and uh you know and some people pay hundreds of thousands of dollars it's just tax write-offs or whatever you know it's just some bad people out there but um yeah this is fantastic i think this is supposed to be a i don't know a piece of shit <laughs> it's really good at what they did oh god it looks like a face isn't it sort of um they look like hands um, yeah, so um, hopefully someone will give me a few hundred thousand dollars for this, and um, I'll sea freight it. And uh, it's 52 centimeters tall, and um, this is yeah, this is fantastic. This is yeah, it's like the Golden Globe Awards. <laughs> it's worth the same. Oh God, there you go. Um, yeah, their ratings are in the toilet. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> okay, um, diarrhea art. Someone out there, rock and roll. I should start the bidding off at say five hundred eighty thousand. You reckon that might be about? Yeah, rupees. 